if you're in the middle of something and you don't know who to believe, listen to this. The victim is always going to talk about the trauma, okay? The abuser is always going to talk about the victim. You sure about that, honey? Where do you stick this, uh, all these theories from, like, your uh, booty? It's scientifically proven, in my opinion, that being in a relationship makes you ugly. I mean, yeah, I can tell by looking at yourself. You've been in a few relationships, haven't you? So I get asked all the time what car I drive. I drive a Bitmet W 118E mm, Sport. <laughs> what? A bit, I'm the uh, uh, thin, uh, e. You're such a hater. It's like, no, sometimes educated, intelligent people, they make things called thoughts. Ooh. And with those thoughts, they make observations. Ooh. It happens when one thinks. Mm, you should try it. Oh, I like this condescending uh, tone and this voice and this narration. Like, we're all just idiots with uh, goo dripping out of our mouths. And just like, oh, yes, honey, tell me more patronize me Ugh. so this is the type of that only happens in LA okay so I met this guy out like two weeks ago we hit it off he's spinning game we're vibing we're talking whatever we're having a fun time having a fun time yeah we go to a few different spots he drops me home he's all excited obviously we have a good connection whatever he plans a date and I'm like, all right, cool. This guy completely ghosts me. Completely flakes on our date. Like, like nothing. The reason for that being is that most likely he's uh, extremely attractive. It's LA. Um, there's uh, tons of options for good looking guys. And uh, you are not his best option, so he ghosted you. Maybe you said some dumb shit or whatever it is. But this is what happens with the so-called high-value males. Uh, they don't really tend to stick around, especially when they have a bunch of options. They usually just go around. Uh, this is how God made us. Men never want to apologize. They feel like it's just about admitting that they're wrong. The reason that you need to apologize. Women are constantly playing back what you did in their minds and getting mad at you all over again. If they don't have anything to look back on to say, I forgive him, then they're just gonna continue to be mad at you. If you simply just say, I'm sorry, baby, the next time that they remember what you did, they'll remember you saying, I'm sorry, baby, and they'll drop it themselves. It's not admitting so much you're wrong, you're just giving the woman a better memory. What the fuck did I just listen to? Uh, just stay away from all this insanity with women. Men, just, just, because they, they are psychotic they will play so many scenarios in their heads they will get mad at you for no reason for what you did in their dreams and there was a meme about it as well just ugh, just stay away from this yeah eating alone in my car because my whole family was home and i didn't want to buy them anything you salty bitch okay i have something to say i'm gonna keep it short and sweet but I'm sure a few girlies will agree with me. Where are all of the guys in New Zealand? In Australia. Well, more specifically Auckland. I'm just going to leave you with that because I'm lost for words. Like, it's been like two months and I've just not seen anyone that, like, where are they? Just tell me. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, you see, because uh, they think in their head, because they've seen some Vampire Diaries episodes or whatever, and they think they all deserve the Damon Salvatores of uh, the male type. Um, and, and that's just not reality, unfortunately, honey. You're just like a regular average, or maybe you're slightly above average, which is, you know, good for you. But then again, it's like, just embrace reality. And if you don't like it, just become a passport uh, sis and just go travel overseas to get that uh, rich good looking dick that you want so my baby's dad has me blocked on text messages you sound like batman rightfully so i'm crazy but i had to email him yesterday and ask him if he would pick up our son from daycare because i was in the emergency room with an ear infection and vertigo and he said yes picked him up 
And then this morning I said, I'll pick him up today. Thank you. And he said, most welcome. <laughs> I think he still loves me. Just go to the doctor and stay there. I'm all for being single and like waiting for the right person. But is anyone else currently so single to the point that they don't have anything going? Like not a situationship, not a cuddle buddy, not even a match, not even a conversation going. I'm talking nothing. Like when, when does it get? Um, I don't know if that's her actual face because she looks like someone uh, is looking at themselves in the back of a spoon. Like in the front of the spoon, actually. Um, other than that, I bet you if you go to her inbox on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, you're gonna see tons of messages. Because women just get approached all the time. They get so much attention, it fries their brains up from all that attention that they get. But it's not the attention that they want from the men that they would cuddle with. Right? Yeah, it's not from them. It's just from, you know, regular dudes that are the equivalent of them but they don't want that because they hate the fact that they have to settle for someone that's on their level they want the uh, rockets yeah he cheated but why did he cheat hey there pearl you adorable little pick me fetus there's a simple answer for that it's because these men who cheat lack the self-control to not go around sticking their schlong in places they don't belong yep you think you triggered a bunch of women Nah, nah, babe, listen, that's not what happened. I mean, it isn't. Um, at the end of the day, it is true that women cheat with their hearts as well, and um, men only cheat with their dicks. And that is true, but at the same time, that doesn't excuse the guy's behavior. So the guy shouldn't cheat regardless, even if it is just casual sex for him and he needs to let it out. Uh, that's still not something excusable. Yes, there is a difference. Women betray, they don't cheat, but that still is not an excuse. Okay, ladies, prove me wrong. One of the most unexpected parts about being a girl from a guy's point of view is the shared, frequent, far too common experience of being at like a party or group and saying a funny joke and then having the guy next to you just repeat the joke louder and get all the laughs and the credit for it. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, it happens all the time. This is not a men versus women type of situation. Although I've done that a few times myself and I get, did get all the laughs and it did feel good to steal someone, else, uh, someone else's joke for uh, your own uh, two seconds of fame. All right, so you want to know something that they should tell you before you fight, but they don't. So here's some advice. Make sure you know all the passwords to your banking and your phone, you know, the things that you usually rely on face recognition to just open for you. Yeah, make sure you know the passwords because it might just be that your phone doesn't recognize your face after you fought. All right, yeah, I didn't know where this was going up until the last second. Honey, I know, I know it's a tough life. Um, don't get into fights. The best self-defense is that you just run the fuck away from fights and don't engage in them at all.